I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Sports betting's get out of hand, bro. Like, the other day, I was scrolling on Twitter. And I just seen a post about the odds of Darvin Ham, the Lakers head coach, getting fired after the season. Like, do y'all niggas have no shame, bro? Y'all are betting on a man losing his job. Like, that is the craziest form of hating I've ever seen, bro. Like, that nigga has a family, bro. A wife and kids to provide for. All y'all niggas care about is getting the over on him getting fired. And why the fuck is D-Lo on this list, bro? Like, what the fuck did that nigga do to y'all, bro? All he's trying to do is play basketball. Y'all over here trying to ship him over to Shanghai. <laughs> betting on that shit is even crazier. Like, as a society, we kind of have to just take a chill pill with this betting shit. Because there is no reason why we should be betting on niggas losing their job. And also, why the fuck are y'all placing bets on who's going to be on the Epstein list? Like, I am not joking either. This is a real thing. Like, the accusations that are being made about people who are on this list are crazy. This is a list of people who went to a sex trafficking island. And y'all over here placing parlays on this shit like it's nothing, bro. Like, what the hell? And they also just got random niggas on this list, too. Like, Donovan Mitchell, Rudy Gobert. You're telling me these niggas were playing with children? Like, y'all really finna place bets on Rudy Gobert being on this list? Niggas finna be like, hey, bro, I got the over on Rudy tonight. Oh, really? For how many? Well, I think he probably fucked around three to four little girls. I don't think his dick can really fit into Nigga, the fuck are you talking about? And then there's a lot of other random niggas on this list, too. Like, why the fuck is Chris Tucker on this list, bro? You telling me he was kung pao a little Asian girl's pussy? Can somebody please tell me why Stephen Hawking, a guy who couldn't even walk, is somehow on this? Oh. Why the fuck did he do that shit? Like, isn't this nigga, like, unable to jerk off or some shit? Because, I mean, you know. Or maybe he had, like, an assistant or something to, like, jerk him off or some shit. Because I know good and damn well this man was not just watching little Asian midget girls doing math equations. Yeah, I said Asian for a reason. Just for the fun of it, bro. Like, there's no way he had to be jerking off or something, bro. Like, like there has to be something missing in that report. I, 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 I'm the back on top of I niggas really need to chill with this betting shit. Like, I know a lot of y'all be betting every single night on the sports parlays, man. And you might not see the problem with that shit because you're probably not betting that much money. But them bets will stack up on your ass and you're not finna win every single one. Also, a lot of y'all just don't have any self-control at all. And not having self-control over money is one of the worst traits you could have. Because truthfully and honestly, betting is never that deep, bro. Like, if you're betting to get more money, I hate to break it to you, little bro, but that's not the best idea. Because, yeah, you might hit on some parlays, the majority of them shits, you probably not gonna hit on. Unless you're very educated in sports knowledge. And even then, injuries still happen, DMPs still happen, and also, these are real people. But honestly, if you want more money, get a job. Or take the alternative, just start trapping. Because you'll make way more money off of that than betting on a football game, bro. And if you're actually choosing betting as a priority over spending money on real priorities, like for example, rent, gas money, or even actually feeding your kids, then you got some real self-evaluating going on. Because at that point, it's not even about the money it's just about you wanting to do it which by the way is the absolute worst reason to gamble if you're gambling because you like the dopamine it gives you then buddy you have to seek help in therapy what's crazy is a lot of people gamble just for that reason like we see plenty of examples of millionaires gambling away all of their money just because they loved the thrill how many times have you heard somebody like aiden ross or even drake gambling away millions of dollars like i heard about this one streamer who literally gambled all of his money away crazy part about it is old buddy was a millionaire he was doing crazy numbers off of streaming making hella bread he gambled all of that shit away because he loved the thrill he even got to the point where he was begging his chat for money just so he could gamble it away like bro literally had to file for bankruptcy bro like that's not the path you want to go down and the problem with this whole sports betting thing is that it's so easy to get trapped into it because so many companies people hell content creators just promote and endorse gambling and betting like every single sports league promotes that shit whenever they can. These big gambling companies are just throwing bags at these streamers to promote their shit. And all these streamers gotta do is just gamble money that these companies give them and just live stream that shit for thousands and thousands of viewers. Literally the easiest bag you can get. And all of this has just led to America having a huge gambling and betting culture. Which in my opinion is the problem. And will become more and more a problem as time goes on as more and more people gamble and bet their money away. But hey, that ain't my problem. You're not finna catch me gambling or betting anytime soon. And if I ever gamble, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's because one of them big gambling companies threw me the bag. And I'm not ashamed to say that shit. Like, I will take that shit without question. Like, have you seen the bags that these gambling companies have been throwing these niggas? Bro, Aiden got like 100 mil. That's an NBA contract, bro. And then Trainwreck got a crazy number too. Like, bro, I'm taking that.
deal, bro. I'm sorry. Hate me if you want to, but y'all just gonna have to understand, bro. But anyways, that's the end of the video. Go ahead and follow my Instagram and Twitter. Follow the Twitch too. I'm probably streaming right now, so go check that out. And besides that, go cop the brand, off brand. Link to the stores in the description. And besides that, that's pretty much it. So appreciate all y'all for watching. You know I love all of y'all. Thank you and goodbye.